thing with music, uh, where music is the universal language, I'm Joe Kendrick, glad to be at Sherwood's Music in Asheville, North Carolina, joined by Michael, Stephen, Alyssa, and Luke from Songs of Water, and a free download of a new single from Songs of Water as they get ready to continue touring around the world, and then get into the recording studio for another full album coming up sometime next year. Welcome. Thanks for having us. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Great to meet you finally and get to talk about some of your music, which is a, a blend of styles. I don't know if you could call it any one thing, but kind of a traditional meets a modern experimental yeah. kind of room. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been called everything from Turkish jazz to eclectic pawn shop music, so I don't know. <laughs> That's my personal favorite. <laughs> yeah, uh, so not really sure what to call it. We just call it other music, I guess. Well, you certainly got a, a lot of popularity going and a lot of uh, views on your YouTube of live performances and such. So, where has your travels been taking you recently and where are you going in the very near future? Uh, well, actually, uh, Luke just got back from Turkey and I just got back from Australia. And so we did some separate things and coming back together now and uh, playing here in Western North Carolina this uh, weekend. And then we're um, taking some time actually to write some new music. Uh, or to refine a lot of new uh, songs that we have and uh, starting to work toward a new album. So we'll be taking a little bit of a break and then in February of uh, next year we'll start touring again, um, uh, probably further down south and uh, maybe out to the Midwest as well. So seven members in the band. It's got to be pretty expensive to tour around like that. <laughs> <laughs> per diem. <laughs> yeah, yep. it, it, it's a labor of love, no doubt. Uh, it's just a big family. We're just all a big communal, you know, uh, been doing this together for a long time, and somehow it always seems to work. So uh, we enjoy it. It's, it's, it's a fun experience. It's like a school bus with all the delinquents piled into one mm. confined area. With Except no for Lisa, Lisa keeps us all in line, and, uh, while the rest of us pirates cause trouble. So tell us, Stephen, a little bit about the musical makeup of the band and, and where all of the members, everybody's coming from. Yeah, the fun thing about this crew is that everybody in the band uh, is a multi-instrumentalist. So like Michael primarily plays the drum kit and the percussion, but he also comes out and plays acoustic guitar and, and hammer dulcimer on a couple of songs. Uh, I think Luke plays pretty much every instrument known to man. Uh, Elisa sings with us and, and plays uh, the classical violin stuff, and um, also the shrewdy box, you know. Uh, you know, and then I play several things myself and, and um, uh, lead most of the songs really. And uh, so it's a, it's a real eclectic blend. Um, like I said, everybody plays several different things, and, and most of the music. Uh, that we write uh, is just a blend of, of a lot of different cultural expressions and just a lot of different uh, indigenous folk sounds um, as well as you know some homegrown American sounds and um, but you know it's a it's, it's a real neat um, just sort of collaborative everybody in the band co-writes the music together uh, and so we all kind of play an equal share um, one of us will lead one of the songs, and, and we do tons of improvisation as well uh, in the live set. Uh, so it's it's always uh, it's always a different experience, you know. Uh, a lot of the songs just become launch pads for us and, uh, into unexplored things. Do you mind up doing any writing while you're out on the road and kind of spontaneously kick something together? Most of the, yeah, most of, the, <laughs> most of our songs came from a spontaneous thing that happened, yeah. and then we're just like, we got to capture that, you know. Yeah, that seems to work better for us. Uh, a, a lot of times the writing process, when you have this many uh, creative-minded people. Opinions. And opinions. <laughs> you get all this together, and, uh, and, and it can be a challenge. So we, we have to learn to love each other. And, uh, and that kind of helps us from killing each other, so. <laughs> it's good though. Yeah. It's uh, really good. It's, it's really good. But I, you know, I think uh, just getting in touch with that creative part of us, um, it's kind of one of the most primal parts of, I think, us as human beings is, is just the, uh, the drive to be creative. You know, and I think when you get in touch with that, you get closer to who you are and, and uh, sort of the essence of life as well, and, uh, and so for, I think for all of us there's something uh, 
that we discover in the creative process together um, that really overrides all the difficulty of traveling with a band this big and, and the financial side of it and jobs and families and things like that, you know. Um, uh, it, it really does, um, I, I think, really does offer something to, uh, to the culture that is, is uh, a really necessary thing. Awesome. So what outside of music are you into? Are you into anything in particular as far as what you're passionate about or any other activities? Well, I think we all have tons of different stuff that we're doing. I, uh, for me personally, <laughs> yeah, we're all professional bowlers. <laughs> no. No, uh, I did just uh, publish a children's book that I wrote, and uh, I tell everybody that we're going to do the soundtrack for the movie that it's going to become one day, and uh, I, I actually mean that. But um, you, wrote a children's you have the tools, book. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but just writing, I write a ton of stuff, and. Um, uh, and actually teach some on creativity and uh, developing yourself as an artist and you know um, but the children's book is something that I uh, co-wrote I, I wrote it and then uh, an illustrator uh, Vesper Stamper she's from uh, uh, the Danielson family and uh, Ben and Vesper is her band and uh, she did the illustrations for me so that's that's something that we just recently did as well that's great what's the book called? Satchel Willoughby in the Realm of Lost Things it's, if you ever lost your car keys, it'll tell you where to find them. It's, it's just like the world where everything you've ever lost. And all those socks that you All your left socks are there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anything you've ever lost. It's quite a handy book to have around the house. Yeah. I, I did notice, though, that after I wrote it, I began to lose more things than find them. And so I'm kind of wondering if I uh, need to be careful. <laughs> but at least he knew where to find them, though. I did. I did. And I found this hat in the realm of lost things, too. And I brought it back with Unfortunately. me. Unfortunately. And uh, this is a magic hat. Whenever I wear it, really cool thing. <laughs> the band is not convinced yet. Maybe you should yet, put it on now. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. If I put it on, it disappear. Yeah. So, but I'll try that at the end of the interview. Mm -hmm. I'm Joe Kendrick for Lingua Musica with Songs of Water today at Sherwood's Music in Asheville, North Carolina. Thanks to Jackson Stahl for videography. Thank you to the band for showing up and, and doing this interview with us. We wish you well. Thank you.